Equations that we learned in schools, such as quadratic equations in one unknown or system of linear equations in two variables, are sufficient to solve many static problems. For example, the burning of propane. We set up a chemical equation with propane react with oxygen. If we want to know x1, x2, x3, and x4, we need to set up a system of linear equations and then solve them. However, many natural phenomena involve change. They are described by equations involving derivatives, dy dx, the rate of change of function y. For example, the size of tumor is not constant. If you study biology and want to model the size and see the growth rate, you can define y to be the size of the tumor, and dy dx is the rate of the change of the size of the tumor. Similarly, the amount of insulin will change after eating. If you study food and nutritional science and want to predict the amount of insulin, then you let y to be the amount of insulin, and then dy dx will be the rate of change. Another example would be the forgetting curve. The forgetting curve hypothesized the decline of memory retention in time. R is equal to e to the power of negative t divided by s, where R is the memory retention, s is the relative strength of memory, and t is the time. As time goes by, we lose some of our memory. The rate of the forgetting is modeled by the differential equation dr dt is equal to a negative number, negative lambda multiplied by R.